When I was in hospital, I had to relearn how to stand. I had to learn how to stand, how to walk, how to do all those simple things again. And I struggled a lot. Whenever I was facing those challenges, I was just like, think about your animals. Don't think about what's going on. Focus on happy things, I guess. All I really want to do is get back here. So my daughter, uh, Reese, was in a house fire in 2014, which would be nine years ago. She was seven years old at the time. She ended up spending two years in the hospital. And in that time, we as a family had to come together and figure out how to maintain a farm and maintain a family and take care of Reese in the hospital. I hated PT. I hated all those things. And so we set goals. And once I would meet that goal, I'd get to do something. So we were like, well, if you understand, then maybe we can get Pantene to the hospital. I was about five years old when I first started showing by myself. My first cow I showed by myself was my favorite cow, Pantene. I showed her at the Franklin County Fair as a winter calf. And so my parents worked with the staff and they created a private event for Pantene to come and visit me. When we started talking about the possibility that she could get to see her cow again, knowing that she couldn't go home to see her, but we could bring her to her was all we needed. And that we had fought with her and fought with her in physical therapy to stand up. And my statement to her was, Reese, if you get to see Pantene, she's not gonna be used to seeing you sitting down because you usually stand up next to her. And that was all it took. She was able to uh, work hard and build those muscles and that use that determination that she had to stand next to her cow when she saw her. Dad brought her on a, from, on a trailer to Baltimore and she came to see me. And that was definitely one of my favorite days in the hospital. It gave the nurses, the doctors, all those people that are helping me fight a glimpse of what my life was like here. We were all fighting to get me home to. It gave them a little boost, kind of. It was a very happy day, for sure. There's nothing like the love of an animal and the bond that you can create with an animal. And we saw that with Reese. Her cow, Pantene, gave her the drive and the determination that we as parents and the love that we had for her in the hospital couldn't give to her. Of course, we were there, but we were just her parents. I feel like that was a very pivotal moment for her as she really turned and worked harder because she remembered what she was missing out at home. What I love about taking our cows to Michonne is that you are bringing something that not only did you raise them, but you also worked with them from when they were very young to be here. You put in a lot of hard work. You really bond with your calf. It's not really just about the calf and the person, it's about the bond between them and that they understand each other. I came fifth in showmanship for a national contest. It was definitely a really big deal. It took a lot. I mean, I definitely worked with that heifer for a long time, getting her there. It's very rewarding just to be able to come that far and get an award that big and not even expect it, because I didn't even expect getting that. I'm hoping my future will look like I would love to stay into my roots in the agriculture industry. And I would love to go into horticulture. Um, I really enjoy just working with plants, planting them, arranging flower arrangements. But for now, until I finish high school, I would definitely like to stay here and work with my cows. The progress that Reese has made has just filled Justin and I with such pride and joy to see her be such an accomplished young woman. And the future that she holds is it's broad. It was a challenge that we faced. And at the time, we didn't know how we were gonna do it, but we overcame that. And we overcame that with not just help from our family, but with the dairy industry, as well as our local community. There's so many amazing people. It's a huge industry, but when times are tough, everybody comes together to support you. And even when times are good, they are always cheering you on. I am very, very grateful I get to be in a place like this. I don't know what I really would have done if I didn't have all these people and all these animals that love me. 
least I like to think that the animals love me. Mm-hmm.